Peddler Jean-Claude saint pierre makes his living on the streets of Port-au-Prince. Ask him where the money meant to rebuild Haiti has gone, and his answer is blunt. Look, there are still bodies under this rubble. With all that money, they could at least get them out. What have they done with the money? I think they've done nothing. Countries around the world have pledged $4 billion for Haiti. Less than 30 percent of that has been spent. Many countries have not yet handed over money promised at a donors conference in March. Well, I think donors have been generous, but until the, the, the appeal is 100 percent funded, there's still room for improvement. Private charities have done little better. People gave $1.4 billion to American charities for Haiti relief, but those organizations have so far spent only $530 million. That's just 38 percent of the total. Hundreds of thousands of Haitians who are still in these pretty squalid tents, and they're pretty aware of how much money has been raised on their behalf, so there is a great deal of frustration in the sense of what's happening with, with that money. But I would say that it is important to not spend that money too quickly and to um, plan and to coordinate with the government and with other NGOs, and that does take time. This is some way to involve more people even than we plan within a reasonable budget. Much of the money pledged to the fund set up under U.N. Special Envoy Bill Clinton, $368 million, has gone to the Haitian government in the form of loans, grants, and budgetary support. But almost all Haitians interviewed deeply distrust the government and its handling of the money. Teluc Souffrant spends his days in the hot sun, making cement building blocks by hand. He gets 20 cents for each one. The woman paying him to rebuild her house is poor and often doesn't have enough money to pay. He thinks he knows where the funds meant to resurrect his country went. The government was supposed to have spent that money getting us jobs. But so far we've seen nothing. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Port-au-Prince.